Steve, you stressed in your presentation today the importance of creating a content of a story big enough about helping a young person find themselves in the great story mm -hmm. of the faith, mm -hmm. the great story of God and God's people, mm -hmm. uh, locating themselves in the sacred narrative. Can you just help us with a concrete example or two of how a particular child might align themselves and see themselves fitting into the great story? I think that's a great question. Anytime we can walk out some of these concepts, it certainly is helpful, not only for us, but for our, our young people. Uh, so maybe a few examples that um, I've thought of with regards to this. Something that's very, very pragmatic is uh, I have just found in teaching young people that if I go to the scriptures and I want to explain a parable or I want to tell about some story in the New or Old Testament, um, that sometimes young people don't even know how to locate where that story is. So I will inevitably begin a message with all the books of the Bible up on a screen or uh, some sort of handout and I will say, here are all the books of the Bible. Here's the Old Testament, here's the New Testament, um, here is the book that we're honing in on. Now within that book, did you know that there's this many chapters? We're going to hone in on this chapter and then here are the verses we're going to look at. Now, let me tell you what happened before and what happened after and this is the scene that we're in. Mm -hmm. So I think what that does for young people is it realizes that this story didn't come out of the sky. Um, and it's not, again, what I said today was uh, random Jesus stories. Um, there's, there's a story, there's a bigger story, and these are ways that we can help, I, I think, young people understand the scriptures uh, and understand this bigger story that they're a part of. So as they read the scriptures, uh, they begin to see some sort of continuity, they begin to pick up themes, they begin to see that some of these themes relate to their own lives. Um, which I think is really, really great. Uh, I also think sometimes that we sanitize the story and we don't realize that the story is filled with emotions that young people have all the time. Anxiety, conflict, drama, um, things that are unresolved. And these are ways that, again, I think young people can resonate with and that really helps them sort of understand what they're a part of, that this isn't other, it's, it's their story. Uh, as much as the biblical story. So I think that's one way that um, I try to think about that. I think when it comes to young people's identity, uh, part of the story that's really important, I think, for young people is for them to remember that the story starts in, in Genesis 1 and not in Genesis 3. A lot of messaging that is heard, especially in a lot of the traditions that I have come from, is that we are sinners and that we need God to save us. And certainly that's part uh, of the story, uh, but that's not the beginning of the story. The beginning of the story, the very beginning, says that we are made in the image of God and that we are very good. Uh, and if there's something that uh, a young person resonates with when they realize that that's our starting point rather than uh, the messed up starting point that they realize that they're made for something good. And then what we can do as far as inviting them into the story is we're calling them into who God sees them to be rather than trying to fix them for all the things that they have done wrong. Uh, and I think there's a deep, deep perspective there in youth ministry that we need to reclaim because uh, if they understand that, that now, this is who I am. I'm made for something more than myself. I'm contributing and God is inviting me into making this world a better place. Um, my daughter and I, when we drive to school together, we, we, it's a habit of ours to pray together in the car. And one of the things that we just, we pray and say to each other is, may we interact with people today in a way that makes the world a better place. And like that, that's on the ground. I can do that as a parent so easily. If I can just do that with my daughter every day, I, I'm just trying to point her to say, it's not just about school. It's about what God's inviting you into and who I see you to be. Um, and, uh, and that's exciting to me. And I think, I'm hoping it's inspiring to her.